Hello everyone, this is the session for IEEE Cluster 2020 from Yi Chao Wang. I'm from Center for High Performance Computing in Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Today I will discuss uh, our work on the new uh, extension library for Puppy. We call it Neon Multiplexing. This library is to improve the estimation of multiplexing hardware counters. So let's start. This is the outline for this session. Firstly, we will introduce what is the multiplexing and how is the multiplexing work in the puppy. And then we will introduce our proposals and uh, our implementation for the new library extension. And uh, finally, we will introduce our experimental results and uh, provide our conclusion. So, what is the multiplexing? As we all know, processor hardware counters record uh, low-level hardware events, such as the number of floating-point instructions, cache or TLB uh, missing. However, we can see that uh, the modern processor provides uh, hundreds, of, hundreds of the hardware events. The hardware counters is only 6 to 12. This is because the register resources on the chip is limited. So this causes a problem that uh, not, not each event can be recorded by one specific counters. Actually, if you want to use just like uh, one counter one event, we call the OCOE mode, only eight events can be recorded on Intel Xeon processors. They will provide our accurate result, but, you, but it is not in its inefficiency. That means you have to run hundreds or hundred times if you want to collect it, the hundred events for one, one case. So, multiplexing is a more efficiency measurement method. That means we use limited resource, just like eight counters, to collect more than eight events. However, this may cause the low accuracy problem. Multiplexing is also mentioned in uh, a latest uh, micro um, research paper that's called Counterminer. They also, uh, they also mentioned that they propose a uh, data cleaner to animate the, the outliers and improve the accuracy of multiplexing. However, they didn't explain the reason of the outliers in the record trees, and their implementation are not designed for Puppy. Uh, and, or any other uh, open source providing tools. So, based on their idea, we improve the accuracy of the multiplexing and explain the reason why, the, why they generated them. So I will provide a brief introduction to multiplexing uh, implementation mechanism. Multiplexing has two major steps. Uh, first is the scheduling and the second is the estimation. So in the scheduling step, hardware counters uh, record the hardware events discre discreetly. For instance, uh, in this finger, you can see that uh, the events A, B, and C, and D are defined as the uh, event set to be countered. So all the events can be fairly monitored in a fixed, uh, inter fixed internal, so-called time slice. The event is called, recorded in a file at the end of each time slice. After that, multiplexing switches the counters from one event to another event. So the, uh, here the, uh, the interval is 10 microsecond from one event to the next event. However, we can find that outliers generated in the multiplexing mode. If you compare with the OCOE mode, the outliers decreased the accuracy extremely. Here you can find the extremely high or extremely low higher uh, the outliers. 
uh, in this paper, we want our goal is to improve the multiplexing accuracy for HPC workloads on uh, on mainstream processors, so that uh, we can uh, let more users in HPC community to access this uh, uh, multiplexing node. Our proposals is firstly we identified the reason the of outliers uh, in, in multiplexing mode, and then we proposed the two new uh, estimation methods for multiplexing to improve the accuracy. Finally, we develop our new uh, estimation methods and our new sampling uh, methods in a in a new library extension that we call the new multiplexing, which is compatible to the Puppy. And uh, so the this paper's contributions are here are listed here. We can characterizing the estimations error of multiplexing and improve it, the accuracy. Finally, we provide our open source uh, library. So let's, uh, let's introduce the detail of proposals. In order to characterize the accuracy gap between OCOE and the multiplex, we calculate the KL divergency to quantify the outliers. So we can check the, this table, and uh, the higher KL divergency means uh, more outliers are producer. Uh, the result of puppy multiplex is compared with that uh, one OCOE mode. Each mode was ac executed 10 times for the same workload. So for all the evaluated uh, Hardware events, KL divergency of uh, multiplex is higher than OCOE mode, which indicates that uh, more outliers are produced by the puppy multiplex. And uh, moreover, uh, the, this finger shows that uh, the, uh, the specific events are uh, outliers. That uh, we, all, we can observe that uh, the IQR of puppy multiplex is abnormally larger than the OCOE mode. For instance, here the this specific event in, uh, on BFS workload, uh, the median of puppy multiplex is also higher than that OCOE, which demonstrates that the outliers decrease the multiplex accuracy. Uh, so then, let's uh, discuss about the cause of the outliers by the puppy multiplex. Um, the left one, fing the left finger, showed the, the default method of puppy uh, multiplex. We can see that uh, the the this dark part is the estimated counters. So the, the estimated count is based uh, actually is based on the neighbor, the previous count. And so in this case, we can check that if we estimated by the previous count, uh, here the dark part, and we can see the, the darker part is, this black part is the, the real counts. So in this case, if we use puppy multiplex uh, method, the estimated counters will be extremely larger than the, the real one. So this is the cause of the outliers by the default method. Let's introduce uh, our methods and the advanced methods. So here, these two are the advanced uh, methods in the related work, and these two are our methods. Actually, all different uh, multiplex estimation have two common assumptions. First, the behavior of unrecorded counts, and the, and the second is the monitoring interval of unrecorded counts. So based on these two assumptions, uh, different methods will based on different assumption. So here they just assumption that the the 
estimated cost is increased uh, linearly. So our methods, actually, considering the fact that the hardware events behavior is a random sequential of events, we assume that the unrecorded counts grow non-linearly between two neighbor recorded. In order to reflect the feature of nonlinear uh, growth, an extra sampling processor is designed into the uh, implementation of multiplex to produce the estimated counts. Accordingly, we propose the two nonlinear growth uh, rate gradient estimation methods. One is uh, continuously, and another is dividedly. Here we provide an example of our divided curve area measures. Um, here is the, the example here is uh, um, we assume that the unrecorded counts grow linear non-linearly between two recorded counts. The time intervals between two recorded counts are discrete. So here we employ the, the nonlinear in interpolation method in the in the explosion form, and the gradient uh, m uh, and each estimated uh, counts are calculated by the equivalent here listed here. And then I will provide a brief Im introduction about our implementation. To implement our new methods, we need to insert a sampling process into the uh, library. Actually, here uh, I just show the whole workflow of our uh, this library extension. Uh, the scheduling is still used uh, the Linux kernels version, and uh, we add our sampling to collect, collect the recorded uh, counts first. And after the workload, uh, we do a uh, post processing. It is our estimation method to reduction all the all the estimated uh, counts, and then provide the final result. Uh, our uh, our new library is uh, is coded in C language in order to compatible to the Puppy. We use Puppy version 5.7, and you can see that in this use case, our new new multiplex is very similar to the Puppy uh, library. We just designed the similar um, interfaces here. We designed uh, six new interfaces to support uh, our uh, multiplexing methods. And our code can be found on the GitHub. Let's check the evaluation results. And the configuration for our experiments, uh, we use four different uh, mainstream processors, including Intel, AMD, and the two new ARM Plan, um, processors, they are all the latest uh, the released version and we uh, choose six different workloads from the famous HPC benchmark suit Rodinia and uh, these six workloads cover the uh, f five different uh, uh, area in the if you, you know the seven dwarf in HPC and uh, they also cover different applications domains and uh, we collect uh, 16 hardware events uh, here we just uh, list uh, the the events on the Intel Casca Lake architecture and uh, these events actually are very are very related work related to the performance of uh, modeling and the profiling to the very widely used here and the one more thing is that actually Puppy is not supported on the Huawei Quimpong processor. So there, therefore, we put the Puppy on Huawei Quimpong uh, processor by modifying the, the libpfm4 lib 
in the puppy library to make it work. Um, let's check the, the accuracy results on the Intel Cask Lake uh, with different methods. Here, we just list the, the, the equivalent that we calculate the accuracy rate. And uh, we can find we use uh, multiplex methods to minus OCOE methods and uh, then divide the OCOE. So here we use five, uh, five different methods, including the puppy default. And uh, we can see that uh, the, the mo uh, for all the benchmarks, our methods outperform the puppy default uh, multiplex in most events. And uh, for, the, uh, for the benchmark LAMVMD, the average improvement was about uh, 70.8 on the events, uh, which demonstrates that our method fit well for this benchmark. And similar uh, improvements were observed for the rest five benchmarks. However, actually our methods also can, um, can cause some decrease in the accuracy in uh, several hardware events. In these cases, uh, the advanced method also have bad performance too. It indi indicates that the uh, dedicated estimation method is needed for each event with each workload because actually these, work, uh, these events are random on different uh, uh, platform. Improvement on uh, Intel Cask Lake. We can we calculated the geometric mean improvements in all the benchmarks for each event. We can see that the our new methods for the all the benchmarks was up to uh, 56 to 59 uh, estimation improvement compared with the puppy default method. And we our method also uh, show the better performance compared with the, these two, two advanced methods. About the portability of the accuracy improvement um, for different processors, we can see that um, our new method gain, gain more accuracy improvements uh, for processors and for, for uh, x86 processors the average improvements was about uh, 10 and 6 on Intel and AMD processors. For, for ARM processors, although the average improvements were not significant, the maximum accuracy improvement on Huawei Quinform processors also achieved up to 16 percentage. Our conclusions. First, uh, uh, we actually found the uh, cause of the outliers in, pot, uh, in multiplex and actually the outliers are caused by the misestimated and recorded counts when there is a huge gap between two recorded neighbors. These outliers uh, decrease the, the accuracy of the multiplex. Based on this idea, we, uh, we assume that the Estimation method based on the nonlinear growth, and we uh, pr provide our DCAM and CAM method to improve the multiplex accuracy. The experiments uh, prove that our new method outproof uh, than the the advanced method and the, the puppy default method, and on Intel Cask Lake, the average. Accuracy improvement uh, is to is about six and eleven percentage, and uh, also the on um, different four platforms, our new method can achieve improvements. About the future work, as I mentioned in uh, in the our talk, that uh, the the estimation actually is should be different on different workload and platform. So we want to design a dynamic estimation framework. And we will add the multi-core 
support to new multiplex 